we were searching our hearts because Heather and I married in 1998, but we weren't serving the Lord. We were doing many things of the world, both working. So one day in our house, she said, Chris, what if God called us to be missionaries? And I told her, I said, he'd be wasting his breath on me because I'll never leave my family or my hometown. But in about 2001, the Lord got a hold of our hearts and we went through a time of searching and asking God, what would you have us do? And our church in Clay, Alabama had a missions conference. On the second day of the missions conference, I walked into the church building and couldn't stop crying. As soon as I opened the door, the tears just started coming down my face. And I said, God, what is going on? But I cried through the whole service and then ended up surrendering before God. And I knew God had called me to missions, but I had no idea what about Heather. I didn't know how I was gonna to explain to her what God was doing in my life. Well, in that moment, I had also been praying about that decision to be a missionary because it had been a dream that I had had since I was seven years old. And I knew that the Lord had been finally making that dream become my reality. So I went to him and I told him also with tears in my eyes, I said, I need to talk to you. And he said, no, I need to talk to you. And so we realized that the very same day that the Lord had called us to serve as missionaries. When we joined One Mission Society, the goal was to come to Columbia and help begin a missionary movement with the Inter-American Church of Columbia. We were trying to begin a culture in which missions becomes intertwined in all that the church does. And within the first two years of being here, One Mission Society asked us to lead the field. We began working with two separate denominations. There are partners with One Mission Society, also working with the Biblical Seminary of Columbia, and then also working with Prison Fellowship, along with a ministry of One Mission Society called Sepura Columbia, where we are planting churches throughout Columbia and now spreading beyond Columbia into other parts of the world. And I feel like God has opened up a lot of doors in an incredible way to influence leaders of these movements, leaders of each of these partner organizations. So God is doing some incredible things in Colombia through the history of One Mission Society. And we're able to stand on the shoulders of some great missionaries in the past and stand with a lot of incredible Colombian leadership to see God's kingdom expand and many people reach with the gospel. I love music and I love being a part of praise and worship and received the opportunity to direct uh, the praise and worship group of our church. We're not sharing only music together, but we're sharing lifelong experiences. I've also had the opportunity to be a part of sharing English uh, as a second language and Bible with a public school. Something I really like uh, about the culture here in Columbia is how they're like really like open and friendly. They always care for like what's happening. You fall down and go like go crazy basically. <laughs> One of the things that I love the most about um, Columbia is that even to the smallest little details, um, they always notice, they always care. It, like they make you feel like you're special, maybe more special than you actually are. What I like about Colombia, besides the people, the great climate, and the food, <laughs> would also be the celebrations and holidays. They have more holidays that we can all just celebrate, and it's mostly so that we can be together as family and friends. We understand that God's mission is more than just a missionary on the field. We are the product of people who support, people who pray, people who give on a regular and sacrificial basis. Without you, the chain is broken and there are no missionaries on the field. So we want to say thank you for those who give sacrificially, for those who pray. You're the reason that we're here. I would love to hear from you and I can show you many different ways that you could join us in what we're doing in Colombia in whatever way God's called you. As a missionary, as someone who gives, as someone who supports us in any number of ways, we would love to hear from you and we can show you those opportunities.
Tuh, sampai banget.